Hello, good morning students, how are you all? So here, today I am going to explain the, in the 8th standard, class 8th standard, in the part 2 textbook, I am going to explain the exponents and power. Exponents and power, that is chapter number 2. Right? What do you mean by exponents? Exponents means what? Powers means what? Right? First, I will explain the exponents. The repeating form of multiplication is the same number and variable. Right? Example, x to the power of 5. We can write x into x into x into x uh, 2, 3, 4 into 5. Right? m to the power of 3 is there. m into m into m. Right? Here, one point should be there. One node should be there. So, node, what is the main point means? Base is depend on power. Base is depend on power. Depend on power. Did you understand? Base is depend on power. For example, P to the power of 4. This is a base. See, P. Power. This is base. Sorry. This is power. This is base. Remember. Base is depend on who? Power. Power will say how many times we have to expand. The value of P should expand many times. How many times? It depends on the power. Base is depend on power. P 4 rise power to 4 times. P into P into P into. Can we increase again? No. We will restrict it on depend on the power. If the power told only four times. Base will expand only the four times. Not more than. Right? Not more than. Because base is depend on power. Base is depend on power. This is a form of repeating form of multiplication in the same numbers or variables are called exponents. Powers also I told. Powers means you know that. Base is dependent on power. Power will increase the base. Extending the length of base. Extending the length of base. Did you understood here? <coughs> now here you see. Now again. So, if I take uh, 10 to the power of 2, we can expand 10. If you multiply, we will get 10 to the 100. Right? Okay. So, 10 to the power of 1. If we give us 10 to the power of 1, how we should take? It is in fraction. See, if we give us x to the power of minus 1, see, x to the power of minus 1, we can write in a fraction, it will become plus sign. Right? Now, this how we should write. 10 to the power of 1 into 10 to the power of 1. Understood? Two times. See, one more I'll write. x to the power of minus 3. We can write x to the power of plus 3. Right? Now, we can write 1 divided by x into 1 divided by x into 1 divided by x. x is 3 times. Did you understood? Like that, we have to take. If it is in minus, if any number or any variable to the power of 0 is given. See, x to the power of 0, the answer should come 1 only. The answer should come 1 only. Or m to the power of 0 is 1 only. Or uh, 2 to the power of 0 is also 1 only. And now, 25 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 0 is any number or any variable to the power of 0 is also we will get 0 only. So, sorry, that is 1 only. Did you understood? So, next I will start with that. Maybe examples are I will explain. Now, first I would like to explain the laws of exponents. Laws means rules of exponents or formula like that you have to consider. First law of exponent is Law of exponents first is a to the power of m into a to the power of m. We can read. We can read like that. We can pronounce like that. a raised to m into a raised to m is equal to a raised to m plus 
plus n. Product is product will become plus n. Keep it in mind. Eight, we can uh, like that. We can read eight to the power of n into eight to the power of n is equal to eight to the power of n plus n. Or a raised to n into a raised to n is equal to a raised to n plus n. Right? Second one. Second one. We have to apply that second one. Apply eight to the power of n. Divided by eight to the power of n. Division is there. Multiplication, addition, division. Eight to the power of n means. So listen. I will. A a to the power of n divided by divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n minus n. Ah, a is to n divided by a is to n is equal to a is to n minus n. Right? Third one. Third. What we are doing? A is to n into four is to n is equal to a is to n into n. A to the power of n into whole bracket is there. Whole is to the whole to the power of n is equal to A to the power of m into n, or we can we can write, right? Okay, four. Next, A to the power of m into B to the power of n. M is equal to A into B whole to the power of n, right? A raised to m into b raised to m is equal to a into b whole raised to m. Ah, a to the power of m into b to the power of m is equal to a into b to the power of m. This is the fourth law of exponent. This is fifth law of exponent. So what we have to take? This is a raised to m divided by b raised to m is equal to a by b whole raised to m. Simple. A to the power of m divided by b to the power of m is equal to a by b whole raised to m. The sixth law of exponent I will write here on the right. Sixth law of exponents. So here, I now I will write down the sixth law of exponents. A to the power of zero is one. Already I talked before only. Any variable to the power of zero is one. Any number to the power of zero is one. So So this is the sixth law of exponent. This is the rules or formula you have to remember that you have to think it, and you have to do by itself only. Now I am going to explain that x i is two point one. That is evaluate, evaluate. Now the first question is given from the textbook that is three to the power of minus two. Three to the power of minus, right? So I told you the power is in negative. How to convert in the positive? I told you that is one upon three to the power of two. Correct. Now we can expand or uh, we can write like that. So one upon three into one upon three. Two times. Three is two times, not three to the six. Remember, three is two times. One upon three into one upon three. Now one upon one one the one and three is an n. This is the final answer. Did you got understood? So similarly, the second one also I will give. Or I give my own question also. You can solve by yourself only. Or I will send a friend. Five to the power of minus three. Now how to write? Five to the power of minus three. We can arrange. One upon five to the power of plus three is equal to. Now we can write one upon five into one upon five into one upon five. Now one is one into one into one is one only. Five by that twenty five. Listen, I am multiplying. Now I am multiplying. Listen, five by that twenty five. Twenty five by that one. Now the second one uh, minus four. Four hold the power of minus two. We can change the power. Sign is in negative. We can change in positive. See, one upon minus four hold the power of two. It becomes plus because we are keeping in a fraction, inversely, right? So we can write here. One upon minus four. How many times? Two times. One upon minus four. One one zero one. Minus into minus plus four four zero sixty. This is the plus sixty. No need to plus four. We have to remember there is a plus sign. This is the second one, right? And similarly, I am going to do the third one. So one by two go to the power of third one. See the third one. One by two go to the power. It is a fraction. Don't get confusion. Very simple.
principal I will explain minus 5 C I will write the power is minus power is minus what I did in the fraction angle right 1 upon 1 divided by 2 right and whole to the power of 5 right okay this I will take the fraction up double fraction we cannot do right 2 divided by 2 1s up see the power I will give to the power. 2 1s are 2 divided by 1 drop it. 2 whole to the power of 5. Now we can multiply. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 times. All of you understood or no? See 1 for fraction negatives. 1 by 2 the value value is given. Double fraction, this fraction and this fraction we cannot keep in the double fraction the fraction value. The 2 will be transposed to be the denominator. 1 into 2. See, 2 will go up. 2 into 1. 1 into 2. Denominator 1 should be as it is in the denominator. Power is given to the whole of that. Right? Power, this 5. 2 1s are 2. Denominator 1 left. Drop that 1. No need to value. So, only left 2 1s are 2 is power 5. 2 into 5 times. This is 5 times. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Similarly, 2 2 is a result multiplication. 2 2 is a 4. 4 2 is a 8. 8 2 is a 16. 16 2 is a 32. This is the answer. Understood? Similarly, I will give the old question from that example or maybe I will give my own. Now you can see. Now you see. Similarly, based on the photo, I am giving example my own itself. 2 by 3 hold the power of Power is in negative, converting positive. See, 1 divided by 1 divided by uh, sorry, 2 by 3 whole to the power of 2. I am right. Right. 1 divided by changing the power sign minus C. Positive, negative to positive. Right. So, again, this will come this side to be 1 to 3. Divided by 2 should be as it is. The whole power I will give you. That 3 was the 3 and 2 whole to the power of 3. Now I can multiply how many times? How many times? 3 is 3 times. 3 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 3 by 2. 3 times. 3 by 2 is 3 times. So 3 3 is a multiply numerator to numerator. 3 3 is a 9. 9 3 is a 47. Divide by 2 2 is a 4. 4, 4 2 is a 8. This is the answer 27 by 8. Now you can note it also. Now the second one express, simplify and express the result of power condition is positive. The power should come positive. The both are negative, positive only. See, then you divide by minus 4 to the power of 5, divide by minus 4 to the power of 8. We know that law of exponents. A to the power of m divided by a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of m minus. Right? According to the law of exponents, we will keep C. Minus 4 to the power of 5 divided by minus 4 to the power of a is equal to I will write minus 4 4 to the power of 5 minus a m minus m. Now what we will get? Minus 4 to the power of minus 3. From minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3. We are grabbing what the power is minus sign. Minus sign. What we need in point. Here you see. That is. So we got actually that is minus 3. That is we can change. We need positive the power. This is in negative. We can minus 4 to the power of 3 is. We got in a fraction. The positive. The sign will become change. Minus 4 to the power of plus 3. This is the power change. Okay. Second one. This is the first one in the second one. <coughs> so the second one is given question. 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 3 whole to the power of 2. But we need positive sign here. The power becomes positive only. See, 1 square is 1 only. And 2, 3 to the We have to multiply. See, 1 upon 2. 3 to the 6. We got power is 6 only. This is in positive only. No need to. If you put in negative, 2 to the power of minus 6 equal to 1. But we need, this is not one. Because we need positive sign. 
but this is a good, this is exact answer we are getting. So this is the second one we have done. That the power is we are getting two threes are three twos are six. So the power is multiplying we are getting the value of plus sign only. That is the second one. Now the third one minus three to the power of four. Minus three to minus three to minus three to minus three. So minus three multiply. Then separate it. Five to the power of four divided by three to the power of four. See what we will get. Minus three to minus three to minus three to minus three. So see minus three to minus three to minus three to minus three into five to the power of four divided by plus three. See three into three into three into three. <coughs> Minus into minus plus. Minus plus into minus minus. Minus into minus plus. Three three is a nine. Nine three is a twenty seven. Twenty seven three is a eighty one. Eighty one into five to the power of four. As you know, this is also three three is a nine. Nine three is a twenty seven. Twenty seven three is a eighty one. Eighty one divided by eighty one get cancelled. Five to the power of four will be there. This is the answer we are getting in the third one. Simple trick. If you want, you can cancel here only. But the rest of the power is even numbers. That we will get is both both value will get correct answer similar answer because minus three value four times plus three value also we are getting the same value that is eighty one eighty one so that better we have to cancel here only the only the answer will get here only but I got for the detailed explanation for you all understood that is for question number third now you see the third one find the value of find the value of first question is given three to the power of zero Three to the power of zero plus four to the power of minus one into two to the power of two. Right? First we have to solve in the bracket according to the board master. Three to the power of zero is one plus fraction minus is there for four to minus one upon four to the power of four. Right? Four. One upon four to the power of minus one is two square root of four. This is four. Now one is here. One plus one divided by four. This is a fraction value. One divided by two. Cross multiply. What the LCM part will go this side. Four and four. This four will go this side, and one will come this side. LCM part. One and four. If you take LCM in the fraction, see, don't get confused. One plus one point four is there. Four is there. LCM part. LCM four and one is four only. Four only. LCM is four only. And one four is a four. And four one is a four. What is the four one is a four here? Plus four on the uh, one one is a one. Divided by common LCM is four. Right? This is what this. So here, so four on the four plus one on the one divided by common LCM is four into both to the power into that two 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 square is four. So four plus one is five. Five divided by four into four. This four on the four on the is cancelled. The answer is remain five. This is the first one solved. The third one first one. Now see the second one. Two to the power of minus one in the bracket is two four to the power of minus one divided by two to the power of minus two. Right? So we know that a raised to m into whole raised to n a to the power of m into a to the power of c. We will apply the apply the next. A to the power of m into b to the power of m is equal to a into b whole to the power of m. Correct? This is the law of exponents we are applying here. A to the power of m into b to the power of m is equal to a into b whole to the power of m. Right? C. I will write. Two into four uh, whole to the power of minus one. A into m into b into m is equal to a into b whole to the power m divided by two to the power of minus one. This is the division. Right? This is the division. Now we have to see here. Divide by two for the eight. It is in minus eight into four to the power of minus one. Divide by two to the power of minus one. So we can really divide by this. We have to take see fraction form. One upon eight to the power, right? Fraction divide by divide divide two to the power of minus two to the power of two is we can write directly four. We can write one upon four. One upon four, right? I have wrote here. After that, two is five is four. Two is five is four minus two. Or I can write two to the power. Of. So don't get confused. Two to the power plus two I write. Now I mean this double fraction we cannot do. This will go this side and this will come this side. After that, say one into two to the power of four. 
1 into 2 to the power divided by 1 in 8 into 1. 8 into, sorry, 8 into 1. Right? 2 squares, 1 divided, 2 squares, 4. Divided by 8 ones are 8. Cancel it, 4 ones are 4 twos are. That the answer is 1 by 2. This is the answer from that. Now you can write it also. Now listen the third one. In the third way, third one. 1 upon 2 go to the power of minus 2 plus 1 upon 3 go to the power of minus 2 plus 1 upon 4 go to the power of minus 2. Right? So negative sign will be there. We can put the fraction in the double fraction is C. 1 divided by 2. 1 divided by 2. 1 divided by 1 by 2. 1 divided by 1 by 2. This is in fraction we have to keep in the positive. 1 divided by 1 by 2 whole to the power of plus 2. Correct? Minus sign power is, is changing sign. 1 divided similarly 1 upon 3 the power should become plus right plus 1 divided by 1 upon 4 whole to the power positive now we cannot keep 1 1 1 only 2 square is 4 and 3 square also 9 we can take the reciprocal of the value 1 1 into 4 2 square is 4 divided by 1 plus 1 square 1 into 3 square is 9 and the remaining is 1 plus 1, 1 into 4 square is 16 and divided by 1. When you drop by all the denominators, 4 on the 4 plus uh, 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16. If we add that, 16 plus 4, 20, 20 plus 9, 29. This is the final answer from the third one. And the remaining the sums in the third one, fourth and fifth, you have to solve by itself. Next, I will explain in the fourth one. Understood? Now listen the fourth main first question. Evaluate only first sub question will be there. The first question is a to the power of minus 1 into pi to the power of 3 divided by 2 to the power of minus 4. Right. So here you see I can give you the fraction 1 divided by 8 into 5 divided by 3 plus 8. This is in plus 1. Divided by 2 to the power of minus 4. I can write 2 to the power of 4 in a positive side. Fraction, we can change the sign, right? Double fraction we cannot keep. This I will keep this side and this will become denominator. 5 into 3, 8 to 2 into 4, right? Divide by 1, 1 that cancels the remaining denominator is 8. This will go this side, double fraction. This one fraction and this one second one, third one, fourth one. Four fractions are there. The last, first to last to top and third to second it will come. This will become this side. Don't get confused. So here I will explain this value. 5 to 5 into 5 3 times. 5 5 is 25, 25 5 is 125. 125. Into 2 to the power of 4 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. 4 times. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16. Divide by 8. 8 ones are 8 to the 16 cancel. 125 into 2. 125 into 2. 125 to the 250. This we have to This is the final answer. That is the sub question of the first sub question. That the fourth way, first one I have solved, second one very simple is here. This is not like that fraction. So you can solve by itself also. Now I am going to that second and this is the fifth way, first question. Fifth way only one question is there. Find the value of m. Find the value of m. That is the given. 5 to the power of uh, 5 to the power of m divided by 3, 5 to the power of minus 3 is equal to answer is also given 5 to the power of 3. So, we need to find the value of 3, uh, that is m, right? So, here you see, 5 to the power of m divided by 5 to the power of minus 3. So, here, 5 to the power of m minus minus 3. So, the answer is 5 to the power of 5. See, what we will get? 5 to the power of m plus 3 minus into minus plus 3. What we add, we will get the value of 5. 5 to the power of 5 is 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 we will get, we add, we will get the value of 3. Therefore, m is equal to 2. This is the value of 5. If we add 2 here, see, divide by, a divided by, a, a to the power of m divided by, a to the power of n is equal to, a to the power of m minus m. But, but the sign is minus sign is also here, minus into minus plus sign. And m, m is, what we add, the result will get 5, power is 5. That is, m is equal to 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3, that is, m is equal to 2. That is the fifth man, that is the over.